Oh, um, yes? Uh, I, I possess no ill intent, I, I assure you. Uh, I merely wished for a closer look at these bows. Uh, those of other races differ so in design from our own, you see. I cannot deny I am curious about them. That's all it is, mind. Uh, curiosity. Uh, I have no desire to actually own one of these contraptions myself. Uh, and even if I did, it isn't as if I could purchase one. It would be unseemly for an elf to aspire to such a thing. No matter how they fascinate me, it isn't to be. Are you in the market for something in particular? Particular? Always a pleasure. Our packs are heavier, and our purses far larger. These foreign bows do so intrigue me, but I shall admire them. You would simply give this to me? Oh, that is most generous. I would gladly accept it. Uh, you have my gratitude. Fascinating. Tis not dissimilar from an elven bow in make, and yet tis unlike one in near every respect. Such as this bowstring. It looks quite the same, but the tension is altogether different. I suppose that, that comes from using different materials. Well, why do you stare? Perhaps you find it absurd that I should marvel so at a bow not of elven make. I suppose I sought inspiration, for I, I confess I find myself rather lost. My aim has suffered of late, such that my wayward arrows simply would not strike true. The timing could not be more unwelcome, as my skill with a bow is to be put on trial anon. Forgive me. I should not expect you to know of our ways. I, I speak of the trial of archery, a time-honored elven custom. Every elf undergoes this trial when they reach maturity. Till we succeed, we are not considered to have come of age. I have been training most diligently, yet my skills ne'er seem to take shape. Indeed, I fear my aim has only worsened with each new failing. I grew so vexed with myself that I sought to learn a foreign form of archery rather than master my own peoples. Thanks to you, I now have the means to do so. Though I dare say I shan't make any headway on my own. Say, would you be willing to give me a demonstration? It might be just what I need to find my aim. Please, sir, you give to me this bow. I only ask that you show me how to wield it. Many thanks. I'm indebted to you twofold, but this is no place to practice. Would you be so kind as to meet me by the ruins north of Trevo Mine? That's where I trade, you see. I'll be able to concentrate on your display of bowmanship much better there. I do hope you'll join me. For now, I shall bid you farewell. This might be worth a read. It couldn't hurt to take a peek. Your current vocation is ill-suited to wielding a bow, Master. I quite agree. Have you business with the Guild, sir? I should be glad to assist you.
true to your word, you have come. Let us begin at once. Um, I, I should like to observe your form first and foremost. Uh, uh, so, so stand here and take your aim at yon targets. You have my gratitude. I learned much from you just now. In fact, I have made a discovery. Unlike those of Elven Lake, those crafted by other races are designed for keen aim. Is that not so? I can see this is no revelation for you. I expect you thought this design common to all those, yes? Not so for those of Elven Lake, however. Our bows are crafted to guide not the hand, but the heart. Mayhap you will find the sentiment strange, but such is the perspective of Elven kind. We are taught that arrows loosed with proper form will strike true. As if tis all a matter of poise, I admit. I find it rather baffling myself. Perhaps that is why my bowmanship has failed to improve. Yet with this bow, I begin to understand. Let us see if... Huzzah! What a feat! I, I can hardly believe it. Every last arrow found its mark. Dead center. This marvel is, is nothing at all like an elven bow. The design allows for ease of aim and steadfast flight of each arrow. To think that I should I should feel such a difference. Mayhap I am more suited to a bow foreign make than one of my own peoples. It is a strange thought. But how else to explain it? My arrows have not soared so true in all my days. I'd nearly given up on myself. Yet it would seem I am not without talent after all. My performance with this bow has divested me of such doubts. But the ingenuity of this design, if only my people would take heed. It is all very well to talk of honing one's form, but why should we not perfect the tool so integral to our customs? I am decided. I shall take this bow back to the arbor. With this as my weapon, I have no doubt I shall pass my trial of archery. It seems Sir Glindor's doubts no longer plague him. May his newfound confidence see him through his trial of archery. Right you are. With the bow you gifted me in hand, I no longer dread being put to trial. I almost look forward to it. I shall attack my training with renewed vim. Prison. Hail, friend. How fare you? Tis not long now ere I am to undertake the trial of archery. I thought it only right to tell you that, as you were the one who gifted me the bow that I'll be using. I was also rather hoping you would consider attending. No one could be worthier of witnessing this milestone in elven archery than you. Ah, but the path to the arbor is not easily found or followed. To be best, I escorted you. There is a log bridge near the ruins where I train. I'll await you on the other side. Come find me when you are ready to make for the sacred arbor, the village of my people. Come, shall we be off? Follow me, and pray take care not to fall behind. One can easily lose their way here. The sacred arbor will be a sight to behold, I'm sure. Let us trust in Sir Glindor. Your statue makes for a fine landmark. Try it, everyone's clear of pictures, I'm by. Look, 
Fear not. I'll think of something. El, alacarium ilmen elote falomentarin nun fear, nambawe elelia yav tolme? Nandeu in morteren ecialis, nun fear ananduin, fanamone matiene lismelto. Iselrod vane nun lia casinque erenon. Hmm. Some of us fail to grasp that this world extends beyond the bounds of our cloistered haven. Ah, forgive me. You do not speak our tongue, do you? From this moment forth, so long as you remain by my side, I shall interpret for you. Now, come. The place the trial should be held is just up ahead. I'll gather this. It might be of use. Trial of archery shall be held here. I bid you wait just a moment uh, while I prepare my entry. But I've just noticed. Where are all the custodians? They ne'er leave their posts. Could it be aught to miss? Nenwen mor I won on. Alcarwa fir nun eldaya menelume sur karim. Martyr fa nun fionor minas vena eralote. Alcarwa fir nun eldaya menelume sur karim, kiriando anmaindor hiroth? No. Darren? I cannot stand idly by while my sister is in peril. My friend, if e'er I have had need to call upon your aid, tis now. I beg of you to join me in my sister's rescue. There is no time. I shall mark the location of the ogre's den upon your map. Make haste. Her life hangs in the balance. You're here, and not a moment too soon. We must find my sister and save her from the ogre's clutches. Veninume, mor martyr teel adaka kiriandio. Tayel ni sil arin fel. Nun morivin vi alcarwa menelume. Lis anandor luntena. Nando in fa echialis, pelinol wende, sinde, soron, aele, alvekil. Moriven fendel nar itarondo vani. Falis tu lia fune numen osto taralia osto telpe. We would be ill advised to proceed without light. Wolves, faster! Yeah. 
Arbor Heart, preserve me. Tis even more nightmarish a sight than I had feared. My father battles the ogre while my sister is clutched in its fist. But there is still hope, if I act quickly. Listen well, friend. I shall strike the beast's arm while my father holds its attention. The moment the ogre relinquishes my sister, I ask that you lead her to safety. I have ne'er attempted to strike a target so distant before. Ian, the trial of archery does not demand such a feat. Yet, for the sake of my sister, my arrows must fly true. Pray, keep Darren out of harm. Quickly, master. We must carry Miss Darren to safety. I'm afraid we're not. Oh, my heart. There can be no gladder tidings in all the world. Words shall ne'er suffice to express my gratitude, friend. None of this would have been possible if you had not gifted me this bow. You are my sister's savior. I am for heir in your debt. Et l'air, l'air fermor el dalia eralote. Finlenar. Karilm ilmen arcael. Silfa nambawe in nun calae. Kemenindor canyan irils aldecar. Fionor elwe arfarne nenwen sur orne. Et l'air. Le affair mor el dalia era lotte. On the vana al vekil, et ler ne an ler ailame. Lung ten apelli tellume, an e martir, tindome ingarina fa alme al carwa. Nenwen mor aiwanon, arta hir curir, mor fa erando, kiriando an mindor hiroth, arta hir curir, mor fa erando, amanda kil. Vanelin Hiros Sorom, Sorne an Famelton, Nundis Amanda Kill, Angadur, Femor. Casinke Telpe nun Finaler, Lera nefir heranon, Anne arta her Finlenar, Lungdena we fear nostu. Not only are you my sisters, by the by, if you. Kalail alame, Karilm ilmen arcael, Aidalia anandor. Nun lintan. Heror an me oia fermor an indune faluntena, palan hiar menran, lis fa arne fane. Elorato ala, nun mor arta her. Firnis an erumar isil rod, et laicasar an ils findamunt in cel, ne fanamo lis kiriandio mor erlot. Iav stir lalastar. Nun Falasmir, Malananon, Anamol. Admirably done, Master. Your deeds will be remembered in the Sacred Arbor for decades to come. Well said.